Hi there, following up on the success of our last little video about mounting B4 lenses on the FS7 here. Uh, now there's the firmware update which allows the centre crop. Thought we'd better have a look at that in relation to the MTF adapter and indeed the passive adapters, which of course make mounting B4 mount lenses possible on even these things, which are the Sony A7S series little stills cameras, which do pretty good video. First, let's have a look and see what the difference the centre crop mode makes to using the MTF adapter. So we've got our HJ11 nice wide super zoom B4 mount lens on here with the MTF adapter. Now I'm going to start and show you what it looks like without any magnification added, be that the extender or the internal crop mode. Okay, so here we are starting nice and wide and we can zoom right in and you can see even at the far end there's still a bit of, there's vignetting at the corner of the chip. Now we're going to add the doubler. Let's see what that does. Bang. There's a bit of drop in light, of course, but compensate for that. And we've got the complete full Super 35mm frame covered. And all oh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks pretty sharp. So zoom back out again. Now, if I, take the, if I take the doubler off now, compensate for the exposure change, and now activate the crop mode. Where is it in the menu? It's in base setting, scan mode. We're going to select 2K center. And there we go. Now we are recording full HD with the center crop mode. No doubler added in the lens. Super 35 sensor is being completely covered. We're getting that whole beautiful full frame with the HJ11 lens here. And uh, zoom in, looks pretty sharp. Zoom out, still looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? That looks nice. So let's just remind you of the differences. Without the 2K center crop mode, we can add the doubler and fill the sensor with the MTF adapter, but you can put the center crop mode in and not lose any light, which is great. So the main advantage then of the new 2K center crop mode on the FS7 is that you can use the fantastic B4 lenses with your MTF adapter without having to engage the doubler which is great because the doubler is another bit of glass in front of the lens, it stops light down, and it also can add some chromatic aberration, some other odd bits uh, optically into the, into the lens. So that's really great. It also means that you can use the full aperture of the lens right down to f1.8, and remember it's a par focal lens, it keeps its focus and its exposure all the way through the, through the lens. It doesn't change focus or shift exposure as, it, as you zoom through the lens. What it doesn't do is allow you to record 4K with B4 mount lenses. That, you still need to use the doubler. So let's just have a quick look, go into 4K mode and let's have a show you. So we're now recording 4K in the FS7 here and you can see without the doubler, we're on the full frame and that doesn't work, that's still vignetted. But with the doubler in, we're back to where we were with the HD with the Suke center crop. Fantastic addition, and uh, it's going to make a lot of difference, particularly in some of the things I do, like corporate conferences, where you're right at the back of the room on, uh, you know, on one of the other longer lenses, and uh, you suddenly you've got two or three stops more light because you haven't had to add the doubler. And for HD productions, that's going to be great. But for for 4K, you still need the doubler in, um, or one of the much much more expensive adapters that does that much more internal magnification. Of course, what you can do, because the MTF adapter is in two pieces, the first bit being an E-mount to Canon mount, and the second bit is Canon to B4 mount. So, basically, you can use the MTF adapter to mount your B4 lenses on your Canon cameras, but also you can add your speed booster instead of the MTF-E to Canon mount. So the Suke Center Crop is a fantastic addition for those of us that need a bit more light and miss it and uh, you know, need a bit more extra sharpness that was taken away by using the doubler uh, in conjunction with our uh, before right adapter there. So uh, we're now getting massive, massive options with lenses, even those that were a compromise before are now you know, pretty much back to where we had them on two third inch lenses. And for those of us that run and gun, need more in focus, you know, don't really want all that shallow depth of field all the time, this is, a, this is another great addition, so thanks Sony for implementing that firmware, finally, and uh, thanks for watching.